So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. It's me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money, and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, dumb. Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. <laughs> Spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I'm not square. Maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, hmm. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. 
Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Welcome back again, ladies and gents. I'm your host, Industry 01, and we are continuing on with our walkthrough. Preview walkthrough for uh, Mafia, the Definitive Edition, played on Classic Mode. Really, really cool mission up ahead. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this move. Holly, you drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. For you, maybe. Those brats, not so much. Help you, Tom? No, just looking around. I saw you talking to the Don. So you know what to do. He didn't say, go look around. Tom, you spoke to the Don. So now do as he asks. Ignore what Sam was saying. Those parakeets were singing just for me. That's already behind. Hey, hey. Buona sera, Tom. Hmm. So that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. I gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t t t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there's this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motor safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. So as you can see, this is where you will be able to put your cars in. What the heck? That's hilarious. That must be a... Uh, <laughs> that makes no sense. But I think that would be hilarious driving around with that. Ooh, definitely want to try out that one. But obviously that's from Mafia 3, I think. You can change the interior color, exterior. 102 miles an hour. Could you imagine... Driving this on this difficulty, that would just be ridiculous. But we are going to try the motorcycle and just see how that uh, see how that turns out. Let's do it. So you got first person and third. Cops around, so we're going to drive the speed limit. Again, one of the things that I'm most impressed with is just how beautiful this game is. And if I remember correctly, Mafia 3 was also a very, very good looking game. So far, the controls for the bike seem, uh, seem fairly nice. Love the sounds. 
I mean, you really feel like you're riding in this thing. Take my car through to the garage. It's a ways off. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. If you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. All right, guys, I can definitely tell you how much of a challenge this is on classic mode. So difficult. Just made it. Wow. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. 
For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. This thing doesn't want to stay straight. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, we've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver, some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom. I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away.
They're off! Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out! The favorite is out! Who's going to survive the Lost Heaven Circuit's famous first? Jesus! They're punching up, and I think they're going to... Mikey Dunn, this guy is a fine replacement. I can't even tell you how hard that was. I can't even begin to tell you. Hey, Tommy! 
winner, sir, winner. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now, not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing some men boots by now, the poor bastard. <laughs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. <laughs> oh. There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Looks like there's a few things that we can do. People we can talk to. You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. So there's something that's uh, showing up in here. Okay, so... I guess what I said in a previous video is wrong. They do show up. It's just that once you get them once, they don't show up again. As you can see, this clearly is showing me that it's here. So all collectibles do show up once you get close enough, I guess. in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Paulie? No, no. He said he was a, a, a hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure, sure, sure will, Tom. Thanks. That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But to deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end soundly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Something like a party with the winnings in your pocket. Hey, I should go soonest. I have to work, but not yet. So I can tell you that on the shark difficulty, it is so hard to drive. I mean, like, seriously, like simulation mechanics. Very, very tough. Took a very long time <laughs> to get those. These are also detective or the comics that we have. How'd she drive after the tuna? Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Who came by five minutes ago, maybe? Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. And again, if you go into your collection, you can see Detective Comics, and we just picked up a second one there. It's not Detective Comics, it's <laughs> Dime Comics. 
dime detective. Great race champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, who's seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. today, Tommy, with the, with the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our... You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your mind's racing. Does some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... whoever the hell he goes home to. Hey, Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right. Now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. I'll leave it to you to swim with the barracudas, Polly. Ah, uh, home? Brought me home? Yeah. Maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah. A good idea. Yeah, well... Okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I... I don't feel so good. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, that was definitely so far the toughest chapter that I've done. Uh, driving is no joke when you're going super fast. I mean, it's, oh, wow, 
totally crazy. I think they did a great job and made it very, very tough. So I can't wait for you to actually play and see how good you do when you play this on the classic mode. And let me know, definitely, when the game comes out, uh, tell me how many times it took you to complete that. Maybe you're a stud and you made it in, in one time. But me, it took me a few times. So um, very, very cool, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Show your support on the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.